Jersey clan. Ever since they found Ezo on the Vorcha homeworld, the council's been trying to make nice. Bottom line, you can't touch the Vorcha. They've got diplomatic immunity. Then this one will not attempt to diplomacy. You're also getting a new partner. Are you engaging in reproductive behavior with this one? Unless you want your Spectre status revoked, you're working in a joint operation with Boobin from CSEC. And Elcor, you know this one works alone. Look, I've had to talk them down from suspending you. I've gotten a pulmonary ulcer from dealing with this mess. I can't even eat solid food. You would benefit from shedding excess body mass, Chief. Greetings, Boobin. This one understands that you are the second best law enforcement agent on the Citadel. That is fully funny. I heard the same thing about you. Just avoid interfering with this one's projected maneuvering path. That is fully. Hold it, Spectre. We do this by the book. You may carry the book, while this one opens another excretion vent on the Fortune Ambassador. That is fully. Damn it. You big stupid jellyfish. I'm just three solar days from retirement. Obtain a firm grip on your reproductive anatomy. The Fortune Ambassador's vehicle just turned down that skyway. What the hell are you doing? This is my mate's car. We just paid it all. Hopefully, you are insured. Greetings, Fortune Citizen. Please explain the reason for your haste. Welcome to the Consort Suites. Oh, Boobin, it's great to see you. As a Prothean descendant from heaven, because this one would enjoy a gift like that. Badass boy. Hey, man, that's my sister. Your progenitor's genetic propensity for attractiveness was passed only to her. Come casually, who's that big handsome jellyfish, Boobin? Plasto. This one is training Boobin in proper legal procedure. Badass boy. Listen, honey. We need to get inside. Come casually. You're a pain, Boobin. But I can't resist your good-looking partner. Thank you, Pollock. This one will attempt to determine a way to repay you. Badass boy. Seriously. Don't be like that with my sister. Greetings, Fortress Scum. This one mistook you for Krogan defecation. Ah! You now talk! Me get your badge! Badass boy. That badge is the only thing keeping him from killing you right now. Ah! You be sorry! This one is already sorry. It will take hours to remove your olfactory residue from my oxygen diffusion membrane. Let us depart, Boomin. Badass boy. What the hell did that accomplish? Two things. First, the fortune knows we are following it. Badass fully. And second... You have demonstrated that you still possess a supportive endoskeleton. Come, 
Translator error. Obstruction in airway. No. Me give you money! Code Kennisley, you didn't say anything about attacking my brother. Brother!
We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. But what if there's another attack? We can't... I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad. We will. And thank you. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Iso, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news, the Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible, safe. Remember how everyone ignored the Geth threat until Saren's attack? Well, let's hope they listen this time. I don't know if we'll be able to save their asses again. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? There are many magazines that give helpful lists. Maybe you should read them. I have. Their information is self-contradictory and assumes that the reader participates in Earth subcultures. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. <laughs> No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you.
I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Looking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. <laughs>